What's up? How y'all doing today, family? It's your boy, Danny. I'm glad for you who's tuning in on this channel today. Now, I just want to go ahead and give a big shout out to everyone, everyone who subscribed to the channel, all the new members of the Danny channel. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys for hitting that subscribe button. And then also, I appreciate for you liking the videos that I've been dropping so far. And I also appreciate those of you who have been, you know, in that comment session, commenting and interacting um, with me in the comment session as well. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate it again. And I won't stop appreciating it. All right. So uh, if you're watching this video and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, um, you know. You help build up the channel and you help to be part of a great conversation on this channel. All right. Um, without further ado, man, I'm not even going to prolong it any longer. So I have an interesting video here by um, a man uh, named Todd Friel. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this uh, his name correctly. Now, this video is interesting because this is from years um, past. He uh, did he does like a evangelism thing or like a de debating thing where he goes to like different areas and then preaches the gospel of the kingdom of God. And this one is interesting because he was at a fair um, and uh, he was preaching the gospel of the kingdom. And it was a Christian lady that came up to him and told him um, exactly what he was doing was incorrect and he wasn't preaching uh, the you know the loving gospel of the Lord and you know he should mind his business and things like that but there's an interesting part of the video that catches my attention as I continue to watch and I would like you guys to experience that with me as well so uh, let's go ahead and hop into this thing right here you feel me and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give my commentary, um, you know, at the end of it and everything. Let's go. Outside and talk to real human beings, so we thought we'd play some of our greatest hits. Or misses. Can I just for a minute. I think, yes, think, sure again. I think that probably you have really good motives, but this is not how Jesus went about it. Oh, come on up, man. You can, you can express oh, that. That's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. You can share your heart. Go ahead. You think that it's the wrong way to do it? I grew up in the church, like, yeah. since I was really little. And I think that what you're saying about one God and a loving God and going to heaven. I think that, that that's all probably true. But I bet that 99% of the people out here are getting so frustrated with you and so upset with you and so angry at God because of you. They're already angry at God. The Bible says they're haters of God. You're breaking my heart because I don't think that you're portraying the kind of God that people need and the kind of God that is real. What kind of God do people need? People need the kind of God who offers forgiveness and love. And I think that you're offering judgment is God gonna judge people of course he is whoa whoa whoa, whoa. wait a but, second but you're not I'm not judging them I'm asking it sure questions se it sure seems like can I just say something without you interrupting me mm -hmm. I am just listening to this I'm just so near tears and my heart is beating so fast yeah. because I think that you're doing the opposite of what you're wanting to do mm. and that's so just when, breaking my heart so because I, I, I think I think that you and I probably believe the same thing but what you need to do is go out into the world and live your message and people will come to Jesus. It's not about debating with them and proving them wrong and yeah. telling them that they're bad people. Do you think they are wrong? So you're breaking you my heart. Can I talk now? No. Can I talk now? No. Yeah. Do you think they're wrong if they don't believe in Jesus? I do. And do you think that if they die in their sins without Jesus Christ, where do you think they'll go? I think they'll go to hell. And you don't care enough to tell them now? Of course I do. Then why don't you? I do, but I do it through my life. I do it the way that Jesus did it, not the way that you did it. Jesus didn't ever preach? Fingers. Huh? Jesus didn't ever preach? Of course he preached, but he, did he didn't. Preach? He didn't debate. You're right, because they just sat and listened because he was a rabbi. Have you ever heard the Sermon on the Mount? Of course I have. Jesus said, you've heard it said of old, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say, if you look with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. He wasn't being friends. He wasn't living his life. He was proclaiming, you must repent. Jeremiah did it. Isaiah did it. John the Baptist did it. Jesus did it. Paul did it. Peter did it. Everybody throughout the course of history has done that because we're so concerned they're going to die tonight. Somebody from this fair might drive home tonight and die. And I don't want them to go to hell. I don't have time to be friends with everybody, but we do have time to preach to everybody. Do you preach to people and help them see their plight? I try to live just like Jesus did. I it's just not going to help them. But yes, it is. The Bible says, how will they know if nobody preaches to them? 
It's Romans 10. And how will somebody preach to them unless they don't get sent? My point is that you're wasting your time because 99% you know? of the and people... And it's irrelevant. Who, who is so angry with him? Okay. You know what? It doesn't matter. That's pragmatism. The question is, what are we commanded to go and do? And we are go called to go and preach the gospel and of repentance. It. And Fine. live it. Are you saying I don't live it? No, I'm not saying that you don't live okay, it. Okay, I I'm live it. Saying... And I'm here proclaiming it because these people need to hear the good news of salvation. But they won't hear the good news until they understand the bad news. It's like a doctor who would go out into the street and befriend people because he actually knows that they have cancer but never tells them and hopes to one day lure them into the hospital. We want to go out and say, you've got a disease, you've got an illness. A doctor who never tells the patient he's sick is not a good doctor. How, many, how, how long have you been doing this? It's really irrelevant, and I'll tell no, you what else not. is irrelevant. How many people have been saved by it? That's what I'm wondering. It's irrelevant. No, the it's question not. is, what is right? So you would, if somebody was in a burning building, you would just befriend them. You wouldn't call out to them, get out, the house is on fire. You wouldn't do that for them? No, that's not what you're doing. What you're doing is saying, you're in a house that's burning down. That's exactly. what you're doing. Exactly, they are. That's all you're doing. That doesn't do any good either. Have you not heard me preach the cross? Have you not heard me talk about Jesus Christ, the kind God dying I to don't save people from their I, maybe sins? Maybe I haven't been here long enough, but it doesn't seem like you've gotten that far because you're all about the judgment. You're right, because these the fellow that I was talking to is self-righteous and he thinks he's a good person. I'm trying to plead with him. You're not good. See yourself the way the law shows you that you are in your true state. The law was given to hold up to people as a mirror so that they could see themselves the way God sees them. How does God see the people who are lawbreakers? He loves them. He does, but he's also angry at them. You're right. And he demonstrated his... I don't think that is. The Bible says that God's wrath abides upon humankind, that we are enemies of God in our mind through wicked works. We're, and his cup of wrath is filling up drip by drip, and on the day of judgment, he's going to pour it out and people will go to hell. Don't you want to warn them now? I'm just, I'm not a fire and brimstone kind of person. I'm not either. It sounds like it. Is there fire and brimstone? And you're not kind enough to tell them about it? You're not kind enough to warn them about it? See, now you're judging me. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> sort of like you were judging me a moment ago. <laughs> Okay. It's just, it's just, it's just that it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart to hear this because this doesn't make people want to accept the gospel. This isn't. This I don't. I just don't. Think you don't think this is, is the gospel? It doesn't make people want to accept it, and I, I just don't think that this is the way that Jesus went about it. Okay. All right. So you watched it, right? You, you get like exactly what's going on here, right? Um. This reminds me of a uh, verse in James, what was it? Yeah, James, um, in the book of James, it says that if anyone is friends of the world, he will be, he will have enmity with God. All right. So this lady uh, is basically coming up to him and saying, oh, the way that you're, you know, preaching this gospel of judgment is not how, you know, the Lord will want it because, um, you know, you're causing people to, f hey, it's a warning. It's a warning. I'd rather go ahead and give this out um, now and let you know exactly what you're heading for to warn you of what happens after death. Then you, you know, ending up in a place which is hell away from God and regret and why you haven't heard that, because even us ourselves as kingdom citizens, as people who live with the spirit of the Lord, who live with with the spirit of the Lord living in us, we ourselves will be judged because we are given a great commission to go out into the world and proclaim the gospel of the uh, kingdom of God to each and every nation, every person, and let them know about the coming judgment of the Lord Jesus Christ. But with her, she, you know, she feels convicted because she knows exactly what he's preaching is true. She feels it within her heart. She knows that, you know, what he's given out is true, but she's a lukewarm Christian. Like she's in between. She's just living according to her flesh and not living according to the spirit of God. And that's what's convicting her because he's bold enough to go out there and preach the true gospel of the kingdom, which is the redemption, the redemption work of Jesus Christ on the cross, which basically separates us from the judgment of God if we truly accept him and live according to his spirit. All right. So I want to go ahead and bring up a verse um, that I, I've been meditating on um, here. So um, I've been reading like I'm um, the book of Romans and uh, and it says right now it says uh, Romans chapter. I'm going to go to 
chapter this is chapter eight i'm gonna go to verse uh nine it says however um are you not in the realm of the flesh but you're in the realm of the spirit if indeed the spirit of god lives in you and if anyone does not have the spirit of christ they do not belong to christ but if christ is in you then even though your body is subject to death because of sin the spirit gives life because of righteousness and if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies. OK, um, and then also it, it also it keeps going now. Actually, before that, um, let's see here. So before that verse. Um, I think verse uh, five says, um, those who live according to the flesh have their mind set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the spirit have their mind set on what the spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. And when I first um read that verse, I had to meditate upon it a couple of times. Like I had to like really like digest it. It plainly says those who do not have the spirit of God do not belong to him. No matter how the world things in the world comes to this conclusion that of course God loves everybody, but at the end of the day, there will be a judgment that he will sit and judge the wheat from the tares, the sheep from the goat, and separate the two. And those who are his, which have the spirit of God living in them, will be with him in eternity. And those who are not his will be apart from him in, in eternal damnation. And that's just facts. That's just true. Um, looking at this, and um, it, it really... It gets to me watching this video because she knows the truth, but she would rather just live a lukewarm life which will cause people not to know the true power of god in her um she's not bold enough you know to be convicted by the holy spirit to let people know and to warn them and this video also speaks to me because it speaks like directly to me too i'm learning something from it all right it's okay it's good to you know have a lifestyle that pleases god but we must also take up you know, that warning megaphone and let people know, hey, man, if you're living in sin, if you're living not according to the will and the desires of the Lord, this is what's going to happen to you. And I'm here to warn you and I'm here to lovingly let you know. But nowadays we're living in a, a world where, you know, good is evil and evil is good. So once you start speaking like this, people see it as hate. Oh, you hate mankind that is why you're telling them there's a god that's going to judge them and have his wrath upon them and that's not the case it's a warning it's love letting you know that hey the house is on fire get out that house right now or you will die but yeah that that's that's um exactly what i'm getting from this and it's sad to see because um it's sad to see because we all deal with that even myself sometimes i uh, come to a place where i'm like dang should i really you know um let let this person know about, you know, eternal judgment and to get saved. Sometimes we do um, come to that place where we're warring within ourselves and battling within ourselves, trying to figure out how we get deliver the gospel of the kingdom. But there's a prayer I think each and every um, kingdom citizen should pray. And I pray this all the time. I ask the Lord to give me the spirit of boldness. I ask the Holy Spirit to make me bold and confident in my walk with him to be able to share the true gospel of the kingdom of Christ. And I ask the Holy Spirit to assist me, you know, to right each and every wrong and make me blameless in his sight so that I do not live a lifestyle that does not please God. All right. Yeah. So I want to go ahead and comment on that video. I seen it a while ago. I just wanted to go ahead and hop on it and actually um, react to it once more. Um, yeah. What do you guys think of the video? What exactly do you think about this? Um, if you have any type of comment, comment, go ahead and hit us up in that comment section. You know, like we did the last video. Let's interact. Let's talk and um, share our opinions on it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the original link is in the description section. So you can go ahead and check out the video yourself. Make sure you like subscribe, hit that post notification bell and 
Thank you once again to everybody that subscribed. And we'll see y'all in the next one.